Okay, so as you can see, I do have two clips speakers in front of me. This one right here is the 3 Mark II, and this is the 3 Mark I. And the reason why I have both of these up here with me, let me give you a little bit of the backstory. So my father ordered the Mark II. This was on back order for a little bit. He kind of got impatient. He ordered this one off of Amazon. As he was waiting on the Mark II to come in, this Mark I showed up. And yes, he did like it. He still didn't cancel this one because he likes the color scheme on this one a little bit better. The biggest difference to me, what I've noticed, and if there is something else that I've missed, go ahead and please feel free to check me down below in the comments, is that this one you can hook up to your Wi-Fi connection and you can also use the Clips stream app. You wanna see some love? It's love day. I'm sure people love out here on the court. What's going on, YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV. Well, we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so the 3 Mark II is $300 right now on the clips website and on amazon as always i'll put the links in the description down below and it comes in two different colors you have a walnut and you also have a matte black and right here i do have the walnut color this clip speaker also works well with alexa so does the mark one i'm not that big into setting things up with my alexa to use it as voice enabled that's just me but if that's something that you're into it is an option for you so quickly going around this box on the front side, it just says the three Mark II from Clips Bluetooth tabletop speaker. On the back side, it talks about the three tabletop speaker. Again, legendary, detailed, and dynamic Clips sound, mid-century modern design. So that's what Clips is talking about, how this design is. Real wood veneer and tactile metal switches and knobs. And it also gives you different ways that you can connect this speaker. You have Bluetooth. You have your mobile device and a tablet as well, the Clips record player, your laptop or computer, and you also can control it with a remote control which comes included inside of this box. So on the inside of this box, you will get obviously some literature. You do have your remote control right here and it does come with batteries, power cable, analog cable, and then you also get a USB and audio cable. And then you also have the speaker unit itself right here. So. That's everything that's inside of the box. Okay, so as you can see, wrapped around the front side and the sides is a fabric mesh grill. You also get the Clips logo right here. You do get four feet on the bottom with the rubber padding. And then on the top side, it does say the three in a cursive text. And then you also get these tactile and metal buttons. This is your on and off switch. I believe this is your volume up. This is your volume down. This knob up top, chooses between your Bluetooth, your aux input, your USB, and your phone input. So you can adjust which one you wanna to listen to off of this right here. Now on the back side right here, you do get your service USB type A port. You have your USB audio port. In the analog box, you have a switch that you can switch from phono and line in. You also have your aux port right here. You have your ground point right here, and then you have your AC power in as well. That's pretty much it. I mean. This is a very nice speaker. If you have the right color scheme going with this brown walnut color, I mean, it would just set off. You go ahead and set this on a bookshelf or set this somewhere on a countertop, it'll just look amazing. Okay, so now in quick comparison to the Mark I, as you can see on top of the Mark I, you do have your additional Wi-Fi indicator light right here. So that enables you to hook it up through Wi-Fi and with the app, which I will get into in a little bit. And then as well on the bottom side, you don't have your individual feet. You do have these two metal railings, but you also get these rubber paddings at the end to prevent from slipping. Now on the inside of both of these speakers, what you will get, you do have two and two quarter inch full range drivers. You have one five and a quarter inch long throw off woofer. And you do have two passive radiators on the outside of each of these speaker units. And that's pretty much it for the full design. Now I was online looking for the Mark I. I did find it on Amazon but it was not available. I found it on the Clips website as well, but there was no place to add it to a cart to check out. I don't know if this one is discontinued because the Mark II is out. I mean, it would only make sense. You don't want the Mark II or the Mark I still eating to the profit margin of the Mark II, but just off a of first glance and first look, I do like the Mark I better simply because you're able to use the app. And if you've been following my channel for the longest time, you know I love my tech that have full app integrations. So, 
that's pretty much it for the outside of these. So let me go ahead and hook power up to these and see exactly how these sound. Okay, so I did set up the Mark II to my mobile device. Now, one thing that I noticed is that when you do plug this speaker in, the Bluetooth light next to the Bluetooth symbol will be flashing. And what you wanna do is while that's flashing, you wanna hold down this radio button right here until Clips, the three Mark II shows up in your Bluetooth menu. Just don't have it think it's flashing and then that it's just gonna automatically show up. You actually have to have this button held down. Okay, so for the Mark I, this portion of the video, I'm gonna quickly run through this app, the setup and everything that you can do in this. If you did not come to this video for what the app can do, go ahead and fast forward to this point in the video and I'll continue talking about this with the sound quality and everything. For the Mark One, to set up this app, what you wanna do is download the Clip Stream app and it is available in the App Store or the Google Play Store. So you click on that, what it will ask you is immediately to set up a new device. So I'm going to click set up new device. It tells you for best results, place your Wi-Fi device near your Wi-Fi access point or Wi-Fi router, you can move it after setup. And it says, make sure your PlayFi speaker or receiver Wi-Fi light is pulsing slowly, not pulsing, press down the info icon above. There's no light on the front. So what they're talking about right now is there's a green light on the back side of this right here. If it's not pulsing, there it is. And so that means it's ready to hook up to my Wi-Fi. And then so I'm gonna to go to the next screen. It tells you to go to your settings, go to your Wi-Fi network, click on this device right here. It says play, play five device, and then go back into the app. Okay, so now I finally have the Mark One set up to the Clips app, as you can see right here. The Mark Two is set up via Bluetooth. Now, inside of the Clips app, as you can see, I do have it set up. It's, I named it Clips the Three, and then as you can see, you have the volume slider at the bottom right here. If you hit the gear icon at the top left, you can go in here, you can set up uh, another play file device you can name this learn more music services under music services you can pick between all of these music services amazon music deezer iHeartRadio, kk box napster pandora qo buzz radio.com sirius xm sound machine spotify and title and one thing that i noticed when i was messing with this at my father's house is that there's no upper music in here and so he had Apple Music. The app is just not friendly to how he streams music, but I do have Tidal, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of this other stuff off. Go back, um, speaker groups. So you can hit the plus button to create a speaker group. So I don't know if I can hook both of these up. If this is, since this is the Mark II, this is the Mark One. I'll try that and I'll see what happens when I test out the sound quality. You have your Spotify groups. It says stereo pairs. So I can create a stereo pair, which I will set up, like I said, when I do the sound quality, surround sound, Press the plus button to set up surround sound. Amazon Alexa, again, works with Google Assistant as well. System update, no updates are required. Troubleshoot about an advanced settings. And in advanced settings, you can adjust the volume on connection. Auto connect, power sleep timer, show expand, collapse, check for a new version on app startup, enhance data service, MCU update notification, stop audio on phone call add and remove from now playing in music services, which is in a beta. It says tap connected device bar to modify your zone configuration. And that's everything inside of the settings. And then also you have this high res audio, you click that, it turns it yellow. So I'm gonna do that. It says critical listening mode. Critical listening mode creates a pure unaltered digital audio path to any single Play Fi speaker for best possible sound quality. It supports content up to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz in resolution. And then if I click on my actual speaker right here, I can sign into my music services. Okay, so what I noticed that if I go back into the settings and I go to stereo pairs, I cannot pair these up because they're not both hooked up via Wi-Fi in the app. Since this one is not Wi-Fi enabled, you can't use the app on the Mark II to create a stereo pair. Now, since this is only Bluetooth, I'm not sure if you can hook this up, if you can pair this to another Mark II Bluetooth version and get the stereo sound that you're looking for. But I do know with this Wi-Fi one, you can create, you can 
add multiple speakers to the same group and then you can have these playing in different areas of your house so that's another reason why I do like the Mark 1 better than the Mark 2, but let's go ahead and test out the sound quality on the Mark 2 first, and then we'll get into the sound quality on the Mark 1 if you do have this Mark 1. And that is pretty much it for everything inside the app. So now that we went over the app, let me go ahead and test out the sound quality. First, I'm going to check out the sound quality on the Mark 2, just for comparison's sake, see what one sounds better to me. Okay, so the sound is coming out of the Mark 2 right now. This is 50%. And this is at 100%. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so that was the sound quality on the Mark II. For a $300 speaker, you will not be disappointed. Now this is just an uh, unboxing and first impression, so obviously my sound quality test, I'm not going too much in depth, but the bass is amazing. The mids are beautiful, perfectly spread out. Wasn't too much to pick out from the song that I played from the different voices, but for instrument separation in the, in the sound stage, impeccable the highs are crystal clear and i wouldn't expect anything less from clips so now i'm going to go ahead and check out the sound quality on the mark one <laughs> Oh man, I'm telling you people, look, if you are in the market for a nice tabletop speaker, if you can get your hands on this one, because to me the sound quality is not different at all, perfect sound quality in both of them, if you get your hands on this one, you will get a little bit cheaper of a price, and you'll also be able to access the app. Now, if you do like this one with the walnut color, and then you also got the matte black finish as well, um, but you will be paying a little bit more. Obviously, this is the newer one. This is the Mark II. This is not a bad choice as well, but just off of first impressions and unboxing and sound quality, I do rock with the Mark I better. You'll get the same sound quality. And then I also tested our latency over a wireless connection. There were no latency issues that I noticed whatsoever on either the Mark II or the Mark I. Overall, Oh, man whatever you can find if you if you can't find a mark one and you only can find a mark two you would not be disappointed with the sound quality and everything the build quality the look like i said the main difference is that you can use the app with this one which is a plus in my opinion and that is my full review on the three mark two from clips threw in a little bit of the mark one as well but mainly this was for the three mark two by clips and as always, if this is your first time here or if you found any value in this video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech video. As always, thank you for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.